This video explains how to bold and italicize the font of text and how to add bullet points, numbered lists, web links, and pictures to a report in your R Markdown file. If you are not sure how to create and edit your R Markdown file, please see our videos 3 and 4 in this series. To bold and italicize the font of text in R Markdown file, you need to use asterisks as follows. You add one asterisk before and one asterisk after the text you want to italicize. You add two asterisks before and two asterisks after the text to produce bold text. And you add three asterisks before the text and three asterisks after the text to produce, it, it, to produce italicized bold text. We also would like to make this line as a section three heading. Let's see how the HTML document will look like after meeting. So we have italicized text, we have bold text, we have italicized bold text. Now, to insert parentheses like this, simply type one parenthesis and our studio will autocomplete the other one so as to save you time and reduce errors from parentheses. That are never closed. Here, text. You can also spell check your document. Similar to other word processing programs, our Markdown has a spell check option. To spell check your work, select Edit and check spelling. Or you could simply press F7 on your keyboard or click the ABC icon on the taskbar which is located to the left of the need button. To create bullet points, place asterisk followed by a blank space in front of a phrase sentence. For sub bullet points, click enter on your keyboard to go to the line below the main bullet point, hit tab on your keyboard twice, and add plus, a plus sign. You are able to add multiple sub bullet points and even tertiary sub bullet points. In which case, you need to hit enter on your keyboard to go to the line below the sub bullet point, hit tab on your keyboard twice, and add a plus sub. Then write your sub sub bullet point. For a number at least, simply begin an item with an integer number and a period. And let's create a subsection. Okay. Let's now need this document to produce an HTML output file before we move to the next part of this video explaining how to add web links and pictures. As you can see here, we have all bullet and sub bullet points in the HTML output file and a number at least. To insert an image, what you need to do first is to create a subfolder to store, to store all relevant images for an R project. It is very important to create a subfolder inside the folder 
containing your RMD file. Our RMD file is called homework template.rmd. So you need to create a subfolder here in this folder, which is called rsigma789, to store all the images. You can create this subfolder in your main R project folder without exiting R Studio and opening a finder. First, navigate to the tab files and new folder. And once the window to name your folder is prompted, call it images. You can choose any other name for this folder. I chose images. Now we can see that new folder in the same folder where your RMD file is located is created. Second, you need to place at least one image in this new folder called images. I have an image called 25jpg prepared for this video and I will move it to the folder images. What you can do, so this is the image that is called 25jpg. You can open it by just clicking on this file. In order to move this file into the folder images without exiting our studio, you simply check mark it and then Navigate to the top new folder, delete, rename, more, under more, you choose move. And then it will prompt you to the browser browsing window, which you can choose images as a folder. And now you can see that this 525 JPEG file is moved from the main folder for the R project, R Sigma 789. And if we go to images, we can see that this file is now in this folder images. Okay, let's go back to the main R project folder. It is convenient to have all your images for your R project to be stored in one folder. And if you find a new useful images to add to your report at the stage of researching for your report, you can start compiling your library of images for the report by placing them in these designated folder images. The image insertion in R Markdown is defined by the following expression. And let's add a subheading to this section. This R markdown expression that I highlighted on my screen for image insertion has to be placed at the position where you want the image to be. So the, as shown, the image insertion in R markdown is defined by this expression, right? Let's walk through different parts of this expression. The first one is exclamation mark. Exclamation mark indicates the insertion of an image. Next, a pair of brackets indicates the caption of your image is inside. As you can see here, the image to be inserted is called caption my image. Next, a pair of parentheses, this one, here, indicating the path and the name for the image file, for the image file. In this example, the path is 
image folder name. Meaning the file is in the subfolder, image folder name, within the folder that contains the RMD file. The file name is image file name dot file type. Of course, you may store the image elsewhere on your computer as long as the full file path is correctly listed inside the parentheses. Let's look at the example of adding image file called 25jpg to this R markdown file. I want my image 25jpg to appear at this point in the HTML document. So I place it here. Now I will copy this expression and place it where I want it to appear in my HTML output file. I need to make changes to this expression. First, I would like to make changes to the caption of my image, and I will call it annual clause. Next, I need to specify a folder or a path where my image file is located. The name of the folder is images. So I put here images. Next, I need to put the name of the file. And to check the name, So these are annual growth rates of real GDP per employed person for Tunisia, Northern Africa, and lower middle countries, lower middle income countries. And the name of this file is 25 GPX. So I put here 25. And the extension. Okay, and R Studio right away gives me a warning that no image at path U matches 25 JPEG is located because I made a typo here. And now, once it's correct, I can see the image that will be added to the HTML file document below this slide. Okay, now let's need this document to produce an HTML output file and see what happens. Okay, we got an error. And the error is that, that um, file image folder name, image file name, file type not found in resource path. Why? Well, because we had this line, right? Which is, um, an example of R markdown expression for image insertion. And since we don't really have this image folder name folder and this file, then we cannot leave it here. So we need to delete it. And now if we press neat, then the final HTML output file with all the with all the changes to this document is generated. Okay. So in this video, you learn how to add bullet points, number at lists, web links, and pictures to your R markdown file. You also learned how to bold and italicize the font of text.